What is up guys, 70 Savage here. We are doing another installation in the van today. Um, this time it is the subfloor. The approach that I'm taking for my subfloor is a little bit different than what some other people take. Um, I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'5", so I'm not gonna have much headroom. In fact, I might not have any headroom in the van. I wanna maximize anything that I possibly could. So there are five steps that we need to do in order to create the floor for our van. The very first step is putting quarter inch foam insulation in between the ridges of the van floor. The second step is templating out the van floor and tracing it onto craft paper. The third step is transferring the craft paper template onto some cheap hardboard that only cost $8 a sheet from the hardware store. The fourth step is transferring the hardboard template onto our expensive Baltic birch plywood template, which is actually going to live on the floor itself. And then step five is once we have the Baltic birch plywood down, we're gonna put a layer of sheet vinyl on top of that Baltic birch. Let's get cracking. All right guys, so it's a rainy day today, which means it is a perfect day to start step one of the subfloor. Step one encompasses cutting this quarter inch thick foam board um, to fit within the dips of the ridges in the van's floor. Making some progress on the quarter inch insulation here. As you can see, it's just between the ribs and the factory. Uh, factory uh, floor. It's as close as you're gonna get um, to as much insulation as you're gonna be able to stuff in there. I'm actually gonna put down a layer of this Noiko sound deadening mat. This is the same stuff that I put all throughout the walls and on the wheel wells. Um, it's just that that really thin butyl sound deadening material. I'm gonna put some underneath the polyiso insulation on the floor. If you want to learn more about how to actually install this uh, sound deadening mat, go ahead and check out my entire video on me doing this throughout the van. The poly iso is finally finished laying on top of the uh, sand deadening butyl mat. As you can see, it's just perfectly, perfectly level. Okay, so step number one is we're going to take the curvature of the floor of the van and transfer it to this craft paper. So there's no uh, prescriptive way to do this. You kind of just gotta measure, measure again, cut, Measure again, cut, measure again. So these are what I'm referring to when I say hardboard these sheets that I purchased. They're labeled Yucca board. And what they are are just four by eight sheets of what feels like a really dense cardboard. I was looking for something a bit more rigid than cardboard. I have my craft paper template lying on top of the Yucca board and I'm gonna trace this puppy out. All right, this is what the first four by eight Baltic birch section is gonna look like here. I'd say the templating's going pretty well. All right guys, after three gruesome days of templating out the floor, it's finally in place. I'm pretty stoked with how it fits. It's all lining up with the uh, outside lines. The curves are really difficult to do. And this took so much time, but man, did it pay off. Oh, time to start cutting the big boy board. All right, so now the Baltic birch is out and our Yucca board template is lying on top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and trace this puppy out. All right, look at that. We got ourselves our first Baltic birch cut out. Let's go see how she fits. I couldn't be any more pleased this fits perfectly. The tolerances are super tight and uh, just fits into all of the little grooves and crevices that it needs to fit into. 
Yeehaw brothers, just in the nick of time, uh, we got ourselves a subfloor. That was quite a weekend, but it was well worth it. All right guys, so after I cut the Baltic birch out to fit the shape of the floor in the van, um, there were a couple more preparation steps that I did before I'm actually gonna glue this to the floor. I painted it with this just regular paint that I got at the hardware store. Um, and then an important step for durability is actually sealing both sides of the plywood. I sealed it with this stuff, uh, weatherproof, waterproof sealant. That's just gonna prevent your, your, your uh, subfloor from rotting over time. All right, it is time to glue in the plywood subfloor. I'm using this um, all-purpose silicone. It's gonna go directly on top of the metal ribs and uh, hopefully suction the plywood down pretty good. I put pretty, pretty light beads. Um, I don't want a ton of glue in there. I really just want enough for the floor not to slide around. So the adhesive just dried on the subfloor, and this is what it looks like without the uh, vinyl on top of it, yeah. All right guys, so as you can see, I have the vinyl flooring laid out behind me. Um, I decided to go with sheet vinyl because it is one solid piece, um, so any liquid spilled or condensation that gains isn't gonna drip through any of the cracks. Um, also, it's much, much less, um, prone to shrinking and growing based on heat. Something I'd highly recommend is going and looking at the vinyl that you wanna buy in person. Um, this is from a, a local flooring store and I went to go check out the samples and look at them and feel them, put them in the van, see what they looked like. Uh, I ordered another sample from Home Depot that I never saw in person and when it came in yesterday, it looked awful. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, lay out the Baltic birch pieces that I cut out to fit the shape of the floor of the van, and I'm gonna cut um, this vinyl slightly, slightly bigger than the outside edge of the Baltic birch. Got all of the vinyl cut to a pretty um, close, but not too close to the edges of the plywood. I'm pretty stoked, this is gonna look great. All right guys, so it is time to start gluing down the vinyl to the floor. Um, similar strategy here between the plywood and the van. I don't want something that's gonna be super, super strong adhesive, super permanent. I essentially just want something to kind of keep this stuff in place, prevent it from sliding around. So I'm using this uh, 3M90. Uh, I'm kind of gonna go section by section, lift it up, and use that to kind of stick the floor down. So let's get started. All right, there we are. Got the whole floor glued down now. All the edges are uh, stuck pretty well. And it's looking pretty good. The next step is going around all the edges of the floor and uh, applying some silicone. I found some with in brown that kind of matches the floor, which is cool. Um, but the whole idea of the silicone is to kind of seal the edges so that no water can go uh, down the sides and underneath the subfloor. So the next step is cutting and painting these aluminum angles to go around the trim of some parts of the floor. Just place these guys in for a test fit and they're looking good. Just finished painting these uh, aluminum angles here. I did three coats of paint, a couple coats of primer underneath. All right, just got the finishing touches installed. Just kind of helped seal this additional piece that I put here. So we are out here now with the final version of the floor. I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. Um, it looks super, super good, not just the color, but all the materials are meshing really well. Um, I finished it off with this aluminum edging uh, that kind of matches the rest of the car. And let's go ahead and step inside. 
All right guys, so overall, uh, the floor was a pretty fun project. It definitely was the first big project that I've done on the van. It took me about three weeks all in all, um, just with all the different layers and waiting for all the glues to dry and cutting everything. Um, it also took quite a bit of manual labor, I'd say. You know, between 20 and 30 hours of la labor, just getting everything laid out correctly and fitting in all the uh, different curves of the van floor. Um, but it's totally worth it. I mean, now I have a foundation to put everything else on. So, um, hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for tuning in.